This is one example of a sort of a CKD referral that we get. 72 year old lady who seems very active and healthy. She's had high blood pressure for a number of years. It's treated, you know, she's pretty significant high blood pressure. She's on three agents, but reasonably well controlled. And she's referred because her GP has just got an EGFR that's low and on a couple of different readings. So an appropriate referral in this context. Um, we see her, her history is otherwise really unremarkable. She's got a relatively well controlled blood pressure, not perfect. Her physical exam is totally normal. Her serum creatinine, however, her GP's been doing faithfully. It's been stable. It's 140 to 145 over the last five years, but her estimated GFR now is pretty low, 30 to 35 mils per minute. And he saw the new pathways, decided to refer her on. Did a urinalysis, had no real high risk fixtures, a couple of red cells, which on our pathways is not, one to do red blood cells is not anything significant of an acute you know, progressive GN or anything. Uh, no significant proteinuria on a quantitative urinary album to creatinine ratio, very low amount of protein. Her hemoglobin is, is normal for somebody her age. Her calcium phosphate PTH are all normal. So she's actually reasonably good overall. We would see a patient like this, we would offer her some counseling explaining what GFR is, that she's at likely of low risk for progression, she has low proteinuria, her risk factors are well controlled. Um, so we would say this is probably hypertensive nephropathy. We would suggest to her GP and maybe titrate her medication that she, her blood pressure should be less than 130 on 80 at all times. We would probably suggest an annual follow-up with nephrology with just one of the nephrologists and one of the renal clinic nurses, not a full interdisciplinary clinic visit, just to monitor her for progression, aggressive control of cardiovascular risk factors. But this type of patient would not be sort of getting into that sort of high intensity interdisciplinary care clinic because she's really at low risk of progression overall. But these are types of people that we likely do want to see. And it's not wrong to refer somebody of that nature, even though there's very low likelihood she'll ever need to see the inside of a dialysis unit or ever other complications of CKD.